In the past 12 months, I've been thinking about what kind of boat I should build next. I have idea trying to get a seat on top kayak, which is more safe, and uh, a fishing kayak so that I can go out and fish, and also a modular boat so that I can fit that inside my car. This series, I'm going to cover my thinking process in designing and building this boat. And I would like to share it with you. Some of the ideas may not be the best. Again, this is an experiment. Let's look at the challenges I have. The first challenge is what kind of boat I should build. Seven months ago, I was thinking about building a larger John boat for fishing. I need to come up with a sheet of a 14 feet by 6 feet. Therefore, I started using heat fusion to make a bigger sheet. I attempted to fold it, but the overall size is really big and may not be able to fit inside my car. Then I saw this video and it inspired me to do a similar boat, which is modular and with smaller free ball than my other bowls. Then I created this paper model seven days ago. Yesterday, I came across this video, and this is almost exactly the same boat I have been thinking of. This video also gives me more ideas on how people will be using this kind of boat. I believe I can make the boat much lighter than what they have. I hope to get my boat down to around 30, 35 pounds. Depends on the materials I'm going to use. The second challenge is on stability. Being a pontoon boat, this wouldn't be a big issue. There you go. I can stand on my Gen 4 boat, which is 13 inches wide. My previous three pontoon boats are all foldable, Therefore, I designed them with very high free ball, just to prevent water from getting into the pontoons. However, this time I will be using fusion and making the pontoons watertight. And I can shrink the free ball to between 8 to 10 inches. Lowering the free ball will enhance the stability when compared to my other designs. I also plan to have the boat at 34 inches wide. This will further be helping the stability. This height also allows me to pack the modular boat inside my car. The third challenge will be on the design of the platform, which I will discuss in my next video, part 2. Please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, so you will be informed when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.